Please, like, read the Bible for, like, inspiration, encouragement. Let it guide your life, absolutely. But don't, just don't compare yourself to the people in the Bible because we're not like them, okay? It's different, okay? My sister was like, John, you would not believe this. I went to Starbucks the other day, and my order was wrong, and I didn't realize it until I got to the office. <laughs> and now I just know I understand what Job was going through. <laughs> Stop putting the Bible verses on your Instagram. It's disrespectful. My sister's like, fear not, for I'm with you wherever you go. I'm like, you're on the way to get lip fillers, dude. I don't think... I don't think that's what the Lord meant. Just, it, it's different than the people in the Bible versus us. Like my sister, God bless her, we, she just bought a new home. She did a new custom-built home with her husband, winding staircase, chandelier, beautiful, gorgeous home. You know what I'm saying? We took a tour. We took a tour, all of us, the family together. She has a letter board in her kitchen. In her kitchen is a letter board that says, we have been persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. <laughs> I don't think this is what Paul meant when he was shackled in prison. <laughs> this man was chained to the floor. He just served me avocado toast, okay? It's a little... <laughs> I don't think the book of Galatians was like, dearest oppressed white women from the suburbs. <laughs> Consider it pure joy when the pool chairs aren't delivered by July 4th. Like that. <laughs> so you guys have been fantastic. My name is John Chris. Thank you.